Simon Campbell, 1571 Brookfield Road, Lower Makefield Township. I'm a Pensbury School District resident, Pensbury School District taxpayer. I'm also a former member of the Governing Board of Directors, 2009 to 2013. It's nice to see the old faces. I'm here to speak today. I believe, Gary, you said it was item KKK in the agenda book. Well, isn't that just a perfect, perfect summation of what it is I'm here to talk about? KKK, your proposed new school board policy seeking once again to limit the constitutionally protected speech of American citizens. Now, when I sat on this school board, I believe some of you old timers might remember this, a union guy spoke at public comment for five minutes and ripped me a new one. He called me the bastard child of Margaret Thatcher. And I sat there and I said to myself, okay, fair enough, welcome to America. He considers me a bastard because I'm in the government, his logic is sound. What happened was the superintendent and the school solicitor at the time freaked out and they didn't put the tape online the next day. And I called them up and I said, get the tape online now before we get sued for censorship. I yelled at the solicitor to, and I asked him what law school he went to, because it was clearly constitutionally protected rhetorical hyperbole. I can cite the case if you'd like. And I said to Paul Long, the superintendent at the time, don't ever cut the tape again, Paul. And by the way, bastard child of Margaret Thatcher, I took it as a compliment. Now, you snowflakes apparently have a bigger problem with public comment. It seems to me that you think you can supersede the United States Constitution. Well, I've got news for you, school board president Benito Mussolini. Your power does not supersede that of the US Constitution and the First Amendment rights of the citizens of this great nation. Let's be very, very clear who has the power. Mr. It is Campbell, not government policy. You, do not you, warn me I or do warn not you at this moment. my time. That if, if you, you interrupt my time, personal insults like that again, my or time. if you personally direct your comments, you will Let be asked be very to clear. step away from I'm, the podium. I'm going to I am quote asked to you to make solicitor. your comments, I'm but do not just do a name do not talk like over you me. just did. This is my comment, not your comment. I'm quoting to you now from the United States Supreme Court 1964 case, okay. New York Times versus Sullivan. This is constitutional case law in this country, and I'm quoting you from the U.S. Supreme Court. The, just, the judges wrote that this nation is founded on the, quote, profound national commitment to the principle that debate on public issues shall be uninhibited, robust, and wide open, and that it may well include vehement, caustic, and sometimes unpleasantly sharp attacks on government and public officials. That's constitutional case law in this nation. I don't have to be nice to you. Nobody behind me has to be nice to you. If you don't like living in the United States of America, then you can all move to Russia, Cuba, or China. This is the First Amendment. And I will, I will, caution, you, I will caution you, solicitor. There is a video camera to my left. If you edit this tape, then you're going to have a big legal problem on your hands because my right to critique your fascism, which is what this is, is constitutionally protected. There are emails, public record emails, in which the Director of Equity is lobbying and advocating for public comment to be censored in this school district. And you know what? You know what? Lobbying for it, advocating for it. We've got the school board president saying she'll do better at hitting the moot button in blatant violation of the Constitution for her lobbying and her advocacy of unconstitutional censorship. I want you, the school board, to terminate the employment of Dr. Charissa Gibson with immediate effect. <laughs> After you've terminated her employment, I want all of you to tender your resignations for hating on this country. We have a God-given constitutional right to critique you, and we can speak in any lawful tone that we see fit. And don't go looking around, Benito, because this is the United States of America. You have a good... Uh, one more thing. I want to make a verbal request right now for an unedited copy of the tape. So if any of you delete it, you're going to have a big legal problem. Good night. <laughs>